For years, the game has marveled at the magic produced by four times world champions Brazil. The natural skills possessed by the South Americans have so often set the standard. Quite simply, the Brazilian yellow shirt has few equals. Now, however, a new set of disciples are using Brazilian training methods to make a splash of their own. The Pacific island of Fiji has an undistinguished football history. So the Fijian Football Association have employed two young Australians to coach their under-17 side. Vincenzo Cagliari and Leon Gardichiotis are both graduates of Brazil's premier coaching school, the Football Academy of Excellence in Rio de Janeiro. These kids uh, have a very interesting parallel with Brazilian kids. Uh, a lot of them have some great raw potential. Uh, they demonstrate a lot of carefree expression. They're not uh, bottled up. Uh, they are like sponges when it comes to learning. Uh, they have a great hunger for the game and a great enthusiasm. The director in charge of the Fijian under-17 team is equally enthusiastic. It's a lot of flair. In Fijian uh, football, it's a lot of flair, you see, and uh, people uh, love to see you know new innovations in football so i think a mixture of brazilian and the fijian type of football you know would uh, come out of this kind of training in the past the fijian fa would have enlisted the help of the oceania confederation for coaching assistance but the poor showing of fijian teams is now blamed on years of short-term planning their fa have gambled on instigating a long-term schedule to raise standards at all levels of the fijian game the result is a four-year contract for the australians Cagliari and Gardichiotis recently returned to their native country for two weeks of intensive training. Based at St Joseph's College on Sydney's exclusive North Shore, the squad had the school's facilities to themselves as the college students enjoyed their holidays. This allowed them to focus on the task ahead, qualification for the World Under-17 Championship Finals in November. It could be a giant stride for the hosts of the qualifying tournament. We are basing our hopes in this team to prove to us, you know, that uh, such, a, such a step that we have taken, a very expensive step, would, is, is in the right direction. Now, the success of this team means, you know, that, uh, you know, whether we are going to continue such programs. Although the Fijians will be using Brazilian methods, the two coaches feel their approach can be adapted to suit any team worldwide. The backbone of our principles and philosophies stem from Brazil, but now we've um, added various bits from, from Europe where we know it would help uh, the development of the kids and um, give them more of a chance to uh, expand their understanding and apply things on the park. Whilst the physical preparation for the team is often rigorous, one aspect of training has given the team some light relief. You can see the training has been put into some uh, rhythmic uh, nature and uh, it's like the Brazilian samba, as it were, and uh, the Fijians have their meques, you know, which is very rhythmic. And uh, to adopt this kind of uh, coaching, you know, it gives them a little bit of pleasure also, you know. Certain similarities already exist between the Brazilian and Fijian styles, but the two new coaches believe they can now change the face of football throughout the Pacific region and even Australia and follow the example of other emerging football nations. Over the last 10 years, um, the foundations of success in these countries, the Middle East countries and Africa, has been based on, on Brazilian coaches being there and, and, and teaching the philosophies and methodology of Brazil. Um, they've done it there, so there is no reason why it cannot be done in the Oceania region. With the Fiji squad currently putting their footballing education to the test in the Oceania under-17 qualifiers, Cagliari and Garikiotis know that success will be judged only by results. We'll catch up with them to find out how they're doing in a few weeks' time. As a tropical paradise, the South Pacific Island, beautiful beaches, high-class resorts, and exotic plant life attract visitors from all over the world, keen to sample the most Fijian of customs, walking on hot coals. Buried. 
It's perhaps best known for success at Sevens Rugby. Fiji, of course, are the current world champions. But now football is at last making a name for itself in its own right. It's been, though, quite a struggle. Cheers. And is followed fanatically by those Fijians of Indian background who make up more than 40% of the population. I think the only thing that rugby is excelling on is in sense. And uh, so, in, in, in terms of the popularity in that respect, uh, naturally, this part of the hemisphere with Australia, New Zealand, Tonga, Fiji. Uh, but uh, we, we are not far off uh, in terms of uh, support here locally. Thing, but winning wider respect from rival nations is something else again. To achieve that goal, an ambitious long-term plan is underway. It's Fiji's national under-17 squad. The idea is to keep these players together for as long as possible. Under 23s, right up to the senior team. With this continuity, things hopefully will blossom in the new millennium. Then two, and uh, we are working towards it. But no doubt by the year 2006 World Cup in this part of the world. That confidence is shared by some, but not all of those coaches at Scott will be to identify and nurture young talent. The coaches themselves recently underwent us, but are under no illusions as to the size of the task ahead of them. We have not been exposed to the countries like in other countries, even New Zealand and Australia, we are not up to them. If you talk about the Pacific region. At the moment, what uh, Fiji is doing is we are at a developing stage. Uh, if we are at the moment, I think uh, in time to come we'll be a, a team to reckon. The first opportunity Fiji were hosts for the Oceana Zone qualifiers in the Under-17 World Cup. Australia, a team who they have yet to beat. Urged on by the home support of this penalty. Two in as many minutes soon after the restart, and that was that. All hopes of a major upset evaporated in those two minutes. The Fijians had blown it. Well, definitely we did. I mean, we lapsed in concentration just for two minutes. That professional edge that our boys are still acquiring. But uh, tremendous uh, effort by the... They did indeed improve to such an extent that they reached the tournament final on Australia 5-0 to the favourites. But far from being discovered burning coals to achieve it. I won't even call it a development, a building a Fijian no looking back.